about an hour wait from here. I'm going to wait because he said if I don't go in now I probably won't be able to get in because after about four they stop people joining the queue. But you go in here and I'm sure there's a courtyard the other side there so you've got to probably queue around now in social distancing. So but when we get just to there where the people are we get an audio guide so we can start listening to it from there so I'll, I'll just listen to that as I'm waiting then I'll know some of the things as I go around. Got some big fish in there. Yeah, I might as well wait. It's only an hour. We're inside Hever Castle now. This is the drawing room. Because the mask on. Look at the carving. View down now. So there was the uh, emblem picture just there. There's the sun, Henry the Oaks just there. Look at the ceiling. Actually, this one way system is quite good because 
no one's around me at the moment so I can look at the carving even in the roof there no one else is this is called a minstrel's gallery is that what they call this we used to have people play music we used to entertain down there So now we're going back down, and when we go downstairs, that's where the proper one-way system comes into force. Even rooms like this, look at it. Proper, proper old wood. Oh, just need to drop my camera. four in here but there's nobody in here so that's the uh, bullen coat of arms up there how do you say bullen bullen when I listened to the audio guide it was saying bullen but I always said am bullen but it's obviously am bullen Beautiful room. Oh no, this, this might be the minstrel's gallery up here actually, not the other side. So I think this would have been the entertaining room. So this is the minstrel's gallery. And they're carving now. Even on the ceiling there, look. I don't think it comes up very well. And all on here. Now one of these locks, I'm not allowed to touch, but one of these two locks is an original one for King Henry VIII. The one of the replica ones real. And he used to bring his own locksmith to change all the locks wherever he stayed. So one of these, either this dark one we can't see because of the light, so either this one, or this one was an original of King Henry VIII because of safety he bought his own locksmith everywhere he went see where that right there fifteen forty this was made Beautiful room. Next room. That's a different table though, isn't it? It's a big one, it's not the folding. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I've only seen the folding. Yeah, I'll go and ask him what he wants to do with it. Bench table, 1610. This big bench here. Choir stall, 1480. Refractory table, 1565. And these are the uh, Postilion boots. This is what the riders used to wear when you used to take two horses together. They're made of leather and iron. So the leg that went between the two horses wore this boot. And that way they didn't get squashed when the horses collided. I might tell you on here actually. There we are, but I'm making it up.
catching me up already. This is the library. Call it in seat. Next room, some tapestries. The quality of that graving. That bit down was a priest hole and there's rumour that a priest died in there and his spirit still haunts the place. I, I pointed it and then told you because I didn't want to uh, talk with them people there. Uh, Go away, yeah. Lovely view out there. The lake. So, do you know this was definitely a bedroom? Don't know, no. It's likely it wasn't because yeah. it's a servant's corridor. Right. But Astor thought it was, and yeah. he owned the place, so it was. So it seems a bit small, that's what I thought. So. Yeah, well, I, I mean, the room's been chopped, chopped around a lot anyway, all right. as all houses are. You, know, you think yeah. they're so chewed and rip it out. Um, could you just hang on for a bit, please? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, no, you, sorry, you are, of course, a couple, so you count as one. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so it's fine, come on. Um, but this was... Gavin Astor's bedroom in the late 60s and early yeah. 70s because he had um, been flooded out of there. Yeah. But as for Anne, I doubt it. Yeah. It's and a nice room still. Have a bit of a wait time, I, I think. That's all right. I'll wait in the, the doorway. The next room is a four person room. Sure. And uh, I think whether they count as one or two, I know that there yeah. are three people in. in I'll, wait, I'll wait in that gap there then. If there are things two are right. people. Are you three? Yeah. Oh, you count as one. Okay, we count as two. Of them. But I'm afraid, ladies, you might have to stay here for a, for quite a few minutes because the next room is full. Well, it's full of four or five people. So for COVID purposes. As you heard, blokes, have we got to wait here for a minute? And as you heard that, ambulance bedroom well, is an ambulance right. bedroom. Yeah. Mr. Can't wait here at the moment. Castle. This is the room where it's got the, the books, one of which uh, Anne Boleyn was meant to have taken to the um, gallows with her. Well, not gallows, which got her head cut off. Just can't wait here. It's only, uh, only four allowed in here. There's four in here at the moment. He and his family were living in Shiva Village and they, their rooms were destroyed. So they moved. Right, some inside. people gone this, so we can go in. And he had his bedroom here, his bathroom there from a living room, and then his wife's bedroom at home. I can read that. Children were upstairs. Mr. Astor was very rich in the society. It's a book of hours. Tell you there. She's inscribed him as well. This is 
the marriage tapestry of Anne Boleyn's sister. And Anne Boleyn was the, like the maid of honour. She was 13 at the time. They're not sure which of these she was though. But here's the, the Book of Hours. Like it says there. But she was meant to have taken this when she was beheaded. She was meant to have taken it with her. She took it into the tower. Read that. And we've got another Henry VIII tapestry. So, that is. This way now. Oh, go down the step. There's Henry. So usually you're obviously allowed to go in there because there's a board over there to read. But this is uh, Henry's two wives. I think one is Anna Cleve and Anne Boleyn. And Henry in the middle. And Anne Boleyn there as well. So we're not allowed in there in there for the virus. Let's back down to the courtyard. Queue's right down there because obviously they stopped the queue at four o'clock. It was worth coming here. It's a lovely place. And they've done really well with the restrictions to be honest. It's not been a build up. I think I've had to wait once. This is uh, Queen Elizabeth I when she was at school. Apparently looking like her father. We have to wait here a minute because he said four people. It's got a little bit of a build up there. So we've got to wait here for a minute. I'm trying to give you as much information as I read in the audio guide. While we're outside here, we was given an audio guide for that box down there. We had to put them away before we can come in. It's probably to stop people listening and then holding up the queues. Because obviously we're waiting at the moment anyway. So by stopping them having the older guy, people to pass through quicker. So I know what it's like. So when I have the older guy, I usually stay in the room and listen to everything about that room. So it says the old Queen Elizabeth the first day, when she was young, and that's the one that everyone knows. I'm going to pause it for a minute because it's uh, quite a build up. Hold a bit now. There's only four in here. Won't go too close. So there's the uh, gate tower, the portcullis, and that. And that over there is the oldest part of the thing. Here. Baby clothes from the 17th and 18th century. There's a cot there or something. This was the uh, the king that only lasted five years. He died. Sixth century, sixteenth century buffet. Still people coming in. I don't know why they're coming in because I'm sure it stopped at four. Yeah, I know oh, there's the last people coming in. They just said it on the radio. Uh -huh. Yes. 
So we have down to Henry and the Ruby Page. Uh, so that whole wing, when I'm going in the this is King Henry VIII's bedchamber. Lovely looking room with the carvings in it there. We can go in here now. Someone there. So this is the wall and grave room. So this over here behind the panelling, the panelling would have shut, so it looked like one square room. But this was actually a private chapel for Catholics. Yeah, so because obviously Catholic was outlawed and they couldn't preach it, that's where they used to secretly go in now. Sorry, I can't really close if you to read that. It's a shame we can't have a look in that little room. See the private chapel there. And that on the back wall there, look. Let's go and wait and join the queue again. Yeah. 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 So we've got to come up to here and we've got to wait until we're allowed into the room. Thank you very much. This is the long gallery. It's got little curtains obviously to cover them up, stop them being aged. It's like this one's 1618. It's King of England, head of the fourth. Just 
Thomas Worsley. Worsley's quite famous in history. Pope Clement the Seventh. Can't move quite fast, guys, because people are waiting to come in. Someone's camera, Thomas Kramer. Doge Throne. Thomas Moore and John Fisher, the Catholic Martyrs. William Morham, Archbishop of Canterbury. Henry the Eighth again. Probably one of the most well-known likenesses of him. Thomas More. It's probably a door out to the turret. It looks like. Don't even see that. Henry and Billing walking up this corridor. That's it guys, done in here. Funeral, Roman stones, 2nd century AD. Thank you very much. So we've got this little way now. Looks like we've got to wait a bit. Can't finish the stairways. This is, a, this is as wide as a normal stairway, but it's been split in half. These bedrooms were created after the floods in 1968. There's more plans on the wall. It's about the drainage. Old River Kent. Another room here. It's another bedroom. It's a bit dark in this bit. This is this. Picture of your castle. Another room here. It's me. Bed in like the other. That room's a bit busy. That's, that room, people there are waiting to go in that long gallery that I went into. We're going this way. Let's wait for this guy to go. This is the stairway we come up. We went to Long Gallery. It's a collection of dogs there. Mm. 
maximum two people. This is the Aster Suite. in a room at the time at the moment. Oh, it's about Churchill. No, he's a Churchill paintings. I oh, know he did paint a lot. This one ain't. This is by that John Jacobs. So. Try to be as quick as I can as people waiting to come in. Old TV set. John Jacob Astor there. Let's go. Through the things there, that's it. They're doing that event right there. Oh, this is about the um, servants and staffs. It's the old light system where the lights used to light up when they're doing certain areas. bit here. I think we're going to the oldest part of the castle now. Got to wait. Maximum of four people are just waiting. So we've got to wait on these stairs here. This is, this is the council chamber there. And that is. Look up here. This is all the oldest part. The castle. And in here there's um, some Things like executioners, swords, things like that in here. Once we go down this tower, it's on its way out. It's not bad, but if we're done talking about half an hour. There you be just saying when we get down there. That suit of armour down. It's worth valued a million pounds. She just told me no, it's valued at a million pounds. We'll have a look when we get down there. If you could just come through this way. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. This is a, this is a suit. Uh, so on French 16th century. This is for the pork colours. <laughs> Toilet. On that note. <laughs> this is a bit we come across. This is where we are now. That's where it comes down. I'll read that quickly. I've got to wait anyway. There's a queue. A man trap. There's like some shackles. Swords. That's what they use for beheading. Most of the German. Um, neck colours. I see. Beheading axe there. It's another one now. 
Got hand press there, hand screw, thumb press, hand presses, always. Some swords up there. Fifteenth century seat. This collection of fool's masks. Sorry? It's a bit oh, oh, yeah, I was going to say, like, human nature. Like, look at someone could do that to another part. This is where we are at the moment, Council Chamber. All original as well. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the day. Because we saw some sun before, and then we saw the sun. This is a very strange mask. These are storms. Down the stairs now. Yes, yep, thank you very much. Thank Cheers. Very much. Down to the exit. That's it, guys. Castle done. So we go outside. Have some more look at the gardens. Might be able to hear me better so I can take this mask off. See, there's loads of little areas. Let's shut off. We can't go to. Is it out? Yeah. So we saw the bit of the portcullis there. Some murder holes up there. 